Close your eyes for a moment and picture this. A rocket lifting off not once a month, not once a week, but almost every single day. The night sky dotted with glowing satellites as common as airplanes. Astronauts preparing to live and work on the moon. And the very first hardware bound for Mars leaving Earth behind. Sounds like the opening scene of a science fiction movie, right? But the truth is, it's not fiction anymore. This is a reality unfolding in the next five years. We are living in a turning point for humanity. And if you've ever looked up at the stars and wondered what comes next, stick around. Because the space revolution is about to explode and you want to witness every single second of it. At the heart of this transformation is something deceptively simple. Rockets that don't get thrown away. For decades, space travel was like flying across the ocean and then tossing the airplane into the sea after every trip. Costly, wasteful, unsustainable. But now thanks to SpaceX's Falcon 9 and the upcoming Starship, as well as competitors like Rocket Lab, Blue Origin and India's ISRO, that model is gone. Rockets can land, be reused and fly again, sometimes within hours. Why does this matter? Because when you cut the cost of access to orbit from hundreds of millions down to just a few million dollars, you unlock the sky for everyone. Suddenly, it's not just superpowers like the US or Russia in the game. Smaller nations, universities, private startups, they can all launch payloads, experiments and even missions. Think of it like the early days of airplanes. Once only governments could afford them. But as costs dropped, commercial airlines exploded. That's exactly what's happening with spaceflight right now. And over the next five years, the number of launches will skyrocket. Pun intended. If rockets are the vehicles, satellites are the passengers, and there's about to be an entire traffic jam in orbit. In just the next half decade, tens of thousands of satellites will be launched. Companies like SpaceX with Starlink, Amazon with Project Kipper, and OneWeb are racing to build mega constellations that provide internet access to every corner of the planet. Imagine remote villages in the Himalayas or ships in the middle of the Pacific Ocean connected at high speed, just like a downtown city cafe. But it's not only about the internet. Satellites are being used for weather tracking, climate monitoring, navigation and even farming. Think of farmers predicting rainfall with pinpoint accuracy, governments tracking wildfires in real time, and aid agencies monitoring floods and earthquakes as they happen. The information economy of the future is orbiting above us. And here's the kicker. These satellites aren't just for Earth. Over the next five years, we'll see the beginnings of communication networks designed to stretch to the Moon and even Mars. A true interplanetary internet is no longer a dream, it's a blueprint. Now let's talk about the most romantic idea of them all, going back to the Moon. For decades, the Apollo footprints were left untouched, gathering dust. But now, the Moon is about to become humanity's new backyard. NASA's Artemis program is leading the charge, with Artemis 2 set to take astronauts around the Moon and Artemis 3 aiming for their first crewed lunar landing since 1972. But here's the difference. This time, we're not going to plant a flag and leave. This time, we're going to stay. Why? Because the Moon has resources, particularly water ice at its poles. That ice can be split into hydrogen and oxygen, creating fuel and breathable air. In other words, the moon could become the gas station of the solar system. China has already announced plans for its own lunar base, in partnership with Russia. Private companies are working on lunar rovers, landers and even mining equipment. Within five years, the first permanent infrastructure will start to appear setting the stage for a permanent human settlement. The moon is about to become crowded, and that's exactly what humanity needs. Of 
course, the action isn't only on the moon. Look closer to Earth and you'll see another revolution unfolding. Private Space Stations The International Space Station, our most ambitious space laboratory, is set to retire by the end of this decade. But that doesn't mean the end of the story. It means a new chapter begins. Companies like Axiom Space, Sierra Space and SpaceX are designing commercial stations that will orbit Earth. These will host astronauts, yes, but also scientists from universities, private industry researchers and even paid tourists. Think about it, instead of governments waiting in line for ISS time, entire industries could rent space in orbit to test drugs, grow crystals or manufacture materials that can't be made on Earth. And on top of that, space tourism is finally getting off the ground. Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin and others are already selling tickets. Five years from now and the first orbital hotels won't just be PowerPoint slides. They'll be reality. And you may actually know someone or be someone who can book a trade to space. And then of course comes the big dream, Mars. Now let's be realistic. Humans probably won't set foot on Mars in the next five years, but what will happen is just as important. The preparation phase. SpaceX's Starship is being tested specifically with Mars in mind. Robotic missions are mapping landing sites, studying soil chemistry and searching for water. NASA's Perseverance rover is already collecting samples that future missions will return to Earth. Why does this matter? Because within five years, we may see the very first cargo ships, uncrewed but massive, sent toward Mars as practice runs. The psychological leap of seeing real Mars-bound spacecraft leave Earth orbit will be a cultural moment on par. With the moon landing, humanity will finally feel the red planet coming within reach. So here's the million dollar question. What do you think what will happen first? A permanent lunar base, the first tourist checking into orbital hotels, or the first Mars-bound ship leaving Earth? I want to hear your predictions. Drop them down in the comments, because this is one of the few times where history is being written right now. And your guess is part of that story. The next five years won't just be exciting, they'll be revolutionary. Space won't be an occasional headline or a once-in-a-decade spectacle. It will be a living, breathing industry shaping a future economy, our science and even our sense of identity as humans. We're standing at the edge of a new era. The space age of the 20th century was just a prologue. The true explosion is about to begin and you're alive to see it. If you love this journey into the future, smash that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to Orbital Vistas because here we don't just talk about space, we bring the universe right to your screen. Stay curious, stay inspired and I'll see you in the next video.